So I'm sitting there looking at this new Predator movie, man. Okay. And it doesn't look horrible. It actually has an interesting concept. And it could still be a good movie. But it kind of highlights to me the biggest problem that I have with Disney, with some of the content they're putting out. And the reason why I think some of that content is not being accepted by a certain segment of fans. Okay. So let's take the Predator franchise. Okay. Um, it basically started out with the Predator in that first movie fighting big burly army soldiers. Okay. Second movie, same thing. The Predator was fighting grown men, police, other gangbangers, grown men. Okay. And every movie after that, you had the Predator fighting either grown men or grown women. I think in that last movie, it was a mixture of men and women. Okay. Now, this new movie, it's going to be some little teenage girl. And, oh, the movie isn't just about um, the Predator fight human beings. Oh, no. It's going to be about some sexism or something. Okay. You know. And, uh, oh, man. This kind of nonsense is what's wrong with Disney. But also the biggest problem I see with Disney is them taking male-oriented or male-focused entertainment and trying to recreate it into female-focused entertainment. Okay? <laughs> what do I mean by that? <clears throat> Disney has always been popular with, with young girls and women. Okay? One market that they had they struggled with was with uh, young boys and males, okay? You can look this up. I'm not pulling anything off, off my backside here. The reason why they went and bought Star Wars and Marvel is because those franchises or those corporations, companies, whatever you want to call them, they made entertainment that was, pop that was more popular with the male audience, okay? So what did they do when they went and got Star Wars? They told George Lucas to get lost, okay? Which is a big part of why those sequels sucked, because his actual original scripts that he had were actually pretty good, in my opinion. And I was shocked that they did not use those, and we got that garbage, okay? I mean, that was a surprise to me, because I thought, okay, his treatments must have been really bad. And I'm like, wow, these sound really good. But here's the thing, okay? Star Wars has always been more male-focused, okay? And yeah, I know in the books, uh, I read all those books. I love the EU or what they call them legends. I know they had a lot of female characters, but it still was more male oriented. They took it and now we have to make it female focused. We got Ray. Okay. It has to be female focused. We got this invincible female and we have a bunch of bad, crappy writing because we got rid of George Lucas. Um, but the big thing, man, is... You made it, you took something that was male focused and made it female focused. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with your audience now. And I think that's why these Star Wars and Marvel are both going to go down. Um, <clears throat> you look at the, you look at these Star Wars show, shows, man. Now, Mandalorian was pretty good. And I actually don't hate Book of Boba Fett. I think it was a mixed bag, okay? Uh, then also, you look at the new Kenobi show. I don't actually hate this show. I kind of like it, but I understand why other people dislike it, okay? In some senses, you try to take something that was male-oriented and make it female-focused, okay? I don't hate the Reaver character. I don't hate what they did with Leah here. But to some extent, you did try to focus more on the female and make it female oriented than male oriented. And that's why some of your fans are not liking this stuff. Um, let's take this situation with Marvel. Okay. It was more male focused. Now they say, oh, we're going to do more female focused films. Okay, that's fine. Um, TV show is going to be more female focused. Allegedly, Kevin Feige went there to have a meeting with some, some big ups, some big wigs at Marvel and Disney and said, oh, um, if they had made it more female focused and more LGBT focused, I was going to quit. No, that, that didn't happen like that, dude. Get out of here. They told you to do that. Disney told you this is what we're going to do. Okay. Um, we making it more female focused and more focused on LGBT stuff. 
And this, 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 that's what you're going to do, okay? That's what you're going to put. That's going to be the focus because that's always been Di Disney's focus. Disney's focus has always been making female-oriented uh, programs, okay? That's what they do. So they had to take Marvel and make it more female-focused. Star Wars, make it more female-focused, okay? They have to write to Predator. I'm sorry. I might actually watch this movie and like it. The idea of, of some little girl, teenage girl, beating the Predator, and she has to be the one that figures out, ah, man, get out of here with that clop, okay? Hey, get out of here with that crap, man. I'm not interested in seeing that, okay? Because, again, you have to make it female-focused. Make, take new franchises and make them female-focused. You could have made new franchises, but no. We had to go get Star Wars and, and the Marvel stuff and do this. Stuff like The Predator, because these are fairly popular things with the male audience, okay? And that's what they want. They want, they want to get the male audience, but they don't want to make the programming and entertainment male-focused. They want to make it female-focused, but make it to appeal to males. And I think that's a big mistake, okay? Instead of just making new stuff that's action-oriented, fe featuring females, female characters, but they know the male audience might not watch that. I, I think it's going to blow up in their face, man. It's not going to, ultimately, it's not going to work. I mean, that's just my, th my thoughts, but I don't think it's going to work in the long run.